What's up, everybody, and welcome to the latest edition of the Falcons In Focus podcast brought to you by Ticketmaster, recorded in the Ticketmaster studio. I'm Scott Bear. That's Tori McElhaney, guest of honor, David, David Onyemata. What's yes, up? Woo-hoo. Brand new Falcons defensive tackle, uh-huh. human wrecking crew. Yes, sir. Appreciate half human it. wrecking crew, half Tasmanian yeah. devil. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good combo. It's sort of a combination of that. Uh, he just signed a new contract, yes, signed on the dotted line with the Atlanta Falcons. And I know so many people in the ATL are stoked. Yes. So many people across the NFL say that this, this is, is going to be a good spot. Yep. You know who's not real happy about this deal? You know who's mm-hmm. really mad about this? I don't Lewis. think Kim Jordan's really all that thrilled. <sighs> he put on social media <laughs> and he was like, wait a minute, where'd my partner go? Oh, damn. damn. Kim seems like a. I know that we're with the Falcons. Mm-hmm. He's with the Saints, but he seems like a fun guy to hang out with. No, you know a, what I mean? He's a, he's a great, so he's a great friend. I'm sure he's happy for you, mm-hmm. but I'm sure he's not real thrilled to not work with you. <laughs> That's a, he's a great friend. I'm yeah. like, he's a great friend, great individual. You know, but then it's like it happens over time. You know, things happen. Yeah, yeah. It's That's funny. family at the end of the day. Still, one hundred percent. It's funny just because it's like. It's like the, Terry Fontenot has just yeah. went and, like, he went and got oh. you. He went and got Caden Ellis. Mm-hmm. He went and, of course, got Ryan Nielsen. Yes, it's like, can't, we're just making Cam Jordan matter. Oh. Matter. <laughs> it's like a mad Cam Jordan is not what people want. Uh, but for you, what what was it like playing with Cam? Oh, uh, it was great. You know, I played with him since my since my rookie year. And, yeah. you know, just seeing, seeing what kind of player and – what kind of player he is and him just you know showing you how to be a professional in this league and his approach to his approach to the off season or his approach to the to the games like you you kind of just learn from that because he's he's done it at that level that this high at the highest level for it he's the entirety of his career you know so that's 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 one of them things I kind of you know got from I uh, got from him but he's he's family at the end of the day you yeah. know we're and, yeah. you, and you said that you've been working with Cam since your rookie year. Yeah. You've been working with Ryan Nielsen since your rookie year. Uh, my second, second year. Your second, second year. year. Yeah, he was drafted in 2016. Right. Ryan Nielsen, 2017. Yeah. 2017. Yep. And uh, I'm sure you've been asked a lot. You're, re- you're reuniting with, mm-hmm. with, with Ryan Nielsen. What's that like? We want to know some dirt. Yeah. We want to know what he's like in the Ooh. defensive line room. We want to. I've heard the word intense thrown around <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Who is intense? Let's see. In the deal, he's he's a you know he's a he's a players coach at the end of the day. But yeah, at the same right. time, you 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 have you have to do things right. You have to do things right the way it's the way it's drawn up, the way it's you know the way it's being presented because he does such a hard jo- he does such a good job of uh, of understanding schemes. Yeah, like he's he's one of the great minds like he knows schemes like he 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 easily tell you this is a this gap scheme this is you know mm-hmm. like he he's that kind of coach and you know then it it, it, it comes down to the player of taking the information and right. using it and executing yeah right. that's yeah. that's the other thing you know but uh he gets he gets fiery, you know. <laughs> I said he gets fiery. You see him on the sideline, he gets fiery, and he loves it. You know he does. So yeah. that's that's the other thing. He has the red hair, so uh, I feel like yeah, it just gets, everything's like just red. Yeah, let him let him grow it out. I don't, I don't <laughs> let him grow it out. Then you see, yeah. he, he gets. In 2020, he he got the beard going mm-hmm. and everything right, got yeah. a little longer. Yeah, and... the hair too was all there. <laughs> like he, he he gets fiery. <laughs> I know he's all polished yeah. out here. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's a defensive coordinator yeah. now, right. so I'm, I feel like y'all y'all kind of like have grown together. Yeah, we've yeah. We've, we've been we've been and we've been we've been in the same in the same room for so long. Yeah. You know, like I've spent six years with him in the same room. You know, and uh, here to spend a couple more years with him as well. So, you know, I I uh, I appreciate him, and I I, I kind of you know know what's expected and do that. Yeah. yeah. And I mean. I mean, look at the stat sheet. Yeah. It, like, it must yeah. be a pretty good partnership Definitely. when you look at right. the amount of pressure Definitely. and the pressure percentage and yes, all that sir. fun stuff. Um, your backstory. Oh, yeah. We, we really want to get into right. to your backstory. I mean, born in Lagos, Nigeria, yeah. and lived there until you were 18, 19 years yeah, old? I lived there until I was 18. Yeah, yeah, 18, and then moved by yourself yeah. to Winnipeg <laughs> in 2011. Yeah. I mean, let's not even get to Winnipeg not yet. Like, we'll, we'll get we'll get to that point. Yeah. But 
tell us a little bit about what it was like to to grow up in your young adult er, your basically your whole childhood and young adult years in Nigeria. Uh, it, it was great, you know. I, I come from a, I come from a, a family of six kids. I'm the last kid actually. Oh, you're the, the baby. baby. <laughs> one, but, uh, Are you also the biggest? I uh, I guess so. You can say, <laughs> <laughs> you can say that, but uh, I'm also the last kid of the. Uh, I'm I'm the last one, and uh, you know, went to I went to high school back home, just like every other high school boarding school. You mm-hmm. know, like that's kind of like the that's kind of like the norm back home. And uh, once that was done, it got to the point of uh, where do you want to go for college? Because I got a couple of my siblings that went to the UK and. Uh, I had one of my sisters was in Canada at that point, but she was in uh, Kamloops. That's kind of close to, uh, that's in British Columbia, close okay. to Vancouver. So she was up there. My parents kind of knew what, you know, what Canada was like at that point. So it was like, okay, you either going to the UK or you going to Canada. So I guess Canada was a, Canada was a spot, but then it came down to where I was going to get my, uh, acceptance letter quicker. Sure. Yeah. So, and it ended up being University of Manitoba and, that's basically how that started and I got there 2011 was it May of 20 no I think it was March 2011 wow wow yeah, that it sounds was, like there's still snow on the ground yeah, yeah. it was it wasn't <laughs> that the bad wind, like it wasn't that bad at that really? point it was wow. it was like all right you know I think it was like things are kind of warming up you know like mm-hmm. snow stand melting like by the time I got there you could kind of see the ground and so you know but you wow. kind of see a little ice uh-huh. here and there. You kind of you, you just know something happened. Right? You don't know what did. <laughs> something but, happened there. <laughs> you don't know what did. But uh, my first couple winters weren't that bad. You know, then it got to like the minus forties for Woo. yeah that 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 was that was tough. But apart from that, what uh, when I got there in twenty eleven, uh, I did my what was it summer or spring semester uh i did that i uh, took classes and just two classes went home did that then uh it came to fall time and school had, you know school started and everything was busy at that point and uh kind of needed something else to kind of sp- kill yeah, time kinda, yeah kind of get involved with yeah that's 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 what it was and uh i guess football was 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 that was that for me i went by uh my head coach's office at that point and uh kind of just Asking me if I could join a team. Fascinating. Yeah. I was wondering how the connection got yeah. made there. So yeah. I went by his office to be honest and asked him if I could make the, if I could join the team. And he was like, you know, you could you could come out for you know come out for practice tomorrow. And I was out there the next day practicing. Uh, I guess not practicing. I was I was busy on the side like. Because the rules are watching. complicated. I didn't know nothing. Like yeah. I was just I was out there like. Okay, what's going on? Like, I put the helmet on, my neck goes sore. Yeah, my neck goes sore. But that being uh, that being said, first year I got uh, I was it was this guy R.J. Skinner's. He was basically just out there with me the entire time, you know. So we uh, we did that my first year. My second year, I kind of stay again in there, you know, stay again and feel for it. Stay again in uh, in a couple games. Uh, then. <laughs> After that, just every year, because my 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 idea to it was always to improve every year, to try and get better at something, and and that that was, that was the approach I took towards it. Wow. I just think we're gonna keep going with this. Mm-hmm. I I just think sometimes, you know how like when you watch that movie and you get to the ending, and then you can like go backwards, mm-hmm. and you're like, that was the life changing moment, yeah, right? That you didn't think about it at the time, right? Yeah. You just wanted to just stay wanted involved, to yeah. go to a coach's Definitely. office. That initiative. Mm-hmm starts you down this path yeah. so you're sitting here right now yes, what what intrigued you about the game of football enough to go to the head coach and be like hey i want to try this out i knew i knew i was athletic enough to play it and yeah. then it got to the point of actually getting to hit people and <laughs> like you know that you kind of <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> <laughs> and uh just just having fun with, with, with my friends and just being out there and, and, and enjoying the game you know do you remember the first like football game that you watched? Uh, like when you got football to football game. I think it might have been like a like 
Like a CFL game? Yeah, it might have been a CFL okay. game. Yeah, I don't remember exactly who was playing at that right. point. Right, yeah. but probably CFL. Yeah, it probably was yeah. a CFL game. Were you into... season usually starts a little earlier than the... Yeah. Gotcha, okay. Were you into any other sports like growing up in Nigeria? Soccer. Soccer, yeah. yeah. Okay. I used to be uh, an uh, Arsenal fan back then in the days, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to meet up with him in the box. You know, the I'll try to hit the. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good thing for me. No. You might, you might, you might have me on that. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> I'm not sure well, if I want to yeah, go up and try to go. Right, that yeah. thing. It, yeah, no, that doesn't sound like funny. a thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just so fascinating. Did, did you. Was there culture shock at all going from one place to the next learning that you you're doing so much new Mm -hmm. right you're you're doing so much new and you're doing it kind of by yourself too yeah to a point because i've kind of i've i've i i grew up in the in a setting of where i went to boarding school like i've been away from home for a long time that's a good point yeah so i've been away from home for basically the entirety of my of my life to be honest but uh it it wasn't really that much of a culture shock because I my siblings and I kind of went out there and visited them while they were in the UK. So I kind of oh, was so a kind little, of a- yeah, I kind of was a little acclimated to 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 being away. Yeah, I got you. Now, what? Let's go to you. You go to the head coach and you mm-hmm. say, "I want to play football." And you said, you know, your goal was to improve yeah. every year. Mm-hmm. What was the moment for you that you look back on and you're like, "That was the moment that it all clicked for me." Uh, probably my third year. Third year. Yeah. What uh, about that year? Really. I just I I kind of already so I took the time into uh to actually like understand certain like I I always want to learn like I'm I'm the kind of person who's open to learning and yeah. I I take pride in it and it was just certain plays and certain blocks and that play recognition was just happening so quick and I was like all right I guess this is this is this is where it's at you know like you just start moving at such a quick pace because you understand a little more so that's that's what that's what it was and you you think about the amount of guys that go from a canadian university Mm -hmm. to the nfl draft that's pretty rare even guys coming from the even guys coming from the cfl Mm -hmm. there's somebody on this team who came from the cfl d D alford but even that's pretty rare and then all of a sudden you're the top canadian prospect in the draft and then the saints move up to get you you know it seems like all of these improbable things that you made probable yeah, right definitely. and then all of a sudden you find yourself in this position right yeah. I, I don't know there wasn't a dream right if we go back to i i, I just want to be involved mm-hmm. right then uh, as the process picked up and you gained more respect yeah. and your name got out there i don't know like what's that experience like when uh, all of a sudden it becomes real like yeah. and you i think, can be an nfl player right you think you can have like a career out of this you just i i I guess every I just kind of took every opportunity to run with it, like just going to the Shrine Game, like yeah. going to the Shrine Game. I think was the biggest uh, was was like the biggest show out opportunity I had, and just having having teams and scouts at least like see what kind of player I was and see, you know, like a guy from Canada playing against some of the guys in the in the in the that went to colleges up here, you know. Yeah. So that that was. That was something. That was something different, and I, I think that kind of picked up really good. And because uh, I had a pro day, it was basically yeah. I had the pro day is another story for itself. <laughs> if I tell you, that's another story for itself. I had a pro day, and uh, what well, might have been like sixteen teams that were there, and they came out there in Canada. That kind of was like, oh, these there's really interest across the board. You know? Wow. Yeah. So all of a sudden you go out for your pro day and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. There, there are really a bunch scouts. of guys over Yeah, here. like I'm meeting with scouts. There's two uh, – there were two D-line coaches there, my old D-line coach from uh, the Saints, mm-hmm. and uh, it was another D-line coach. I think it was from the Raiders. I can't remember mm-hmm. to be exact, but – you know, you had two coaches there all the way from the U.S. Some of these guys have never been to Canada. Yeah, that was their right. first time. And it was foggy. Like, it was just pitch. You couldn't even see the car in front of you. Okay. It was wow. that bad. But, you know, like, just having they, – they, 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 the, they took the time to actually come out there and uh, for that, yeah. So, all, like, all of a sudden it becomes, it becomes like a real thing. Yeah, yeah, it becomes a real thing. Like, you know, there's there's interest and there's, there's there are actually people uh, – uh, looking at you and probably you could be wow. you could be somewhere yeah 
It was interesting because I was doing, when we were doing research mm. um, for this podcast, uh, I was re, I was, I like went back and I was looking at articles that were written yeah. around the time that the Saints drafted you. Yeah. And the words that were used to describe the pick was very interesting to me mm-hmm. because they somebody said it was a head scratcher. Yeah. Someone said that you were kind of a mystery man. Mm-hmm. No one really knew that yeah. much about you. Kind of think putting yourself back in in you know 2016, yeah. you in those shoes was that almost like a chip on your shoulder type of thing? Like they don't know much about me. I'm going to go out here and d- and do something. It's it's always like it's it's just about proving myself right. You know, like I don't really. People, people have their opinions and they go by. You can't really tell someone what to think or how to go about what they think. It's, it's, it's what you got deep down and who you are deep down. That's, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I saw, I saw some of them as well. Like even, <laughs> even after my first season, I guess one of the, uh, it might have been one of the, one of the people that be like, oh, uh, the Saints should could have drafted this person mm-hmm. over that. I saw that. I was like, all right, you know what. I guess you have your opinion and you go about it. By the end of the day, I'll just end up keep working and just keep going about my business, and that's all that matters to me. Yeah. 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 Well, then let's take us to draft mm-hmm. day, day, night. Yeah. Um, Saints traded up, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saints traded up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us about the moment when, I, I don't know, like paint us a, a, a picture of like where you were, when the phone lights <laughs> up, the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, I was actually golfing. <laughs> Are you a good golfer? I'm not good. No. <laughs> I was just there for it. It was a friend's birthday, right? And, yeah. Uh, he kind of planned the whole golfing trip, and I just I was like, oh, you know what? I'm tired of sitting at home watching the draft. I might as well just go out with him. And I went, we went golfing. And while I was out there, I got the call and I was like, okay, guys, just wow. keep going. I'll catch up with you. <laughs> that is incredible. Leave the golf yeah, cart. Yeah, I'll be up there yeah, That's what happened. Wow. I yeah. mean, like, normally that story is like, uh, I, I was I've, with I've, family. I've got yeah. 50 people yeah. around uh, me. I just went golfing with my friends. Oh, my God. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, that's, honestly, I feel like that's kind of like, the quintessential yeah. part of your story. Definitely. Where it's like, right, I yeah. was just golfing. Right. And yeah. it's, it's, it, I think when you, like you experience this, like we're, we're, we're catching up, mm-hmm. we're doing research on your background. And we, we think of all these like aha moments, yeah. or these big moments, but it sounds like to you, it's just I, exactly what you yeah. said. I, yeah. If there's an opportunity in front of me, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to take advantage yeah, of probably. it. You seem like a roll with the punches yeah. guy anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, this game looks fun. Oh, I'm good at it. Oh, yeah. there's people here. Oh, I'm I'm in the NFL now. Okay, I'll move on. I'll go for it. you know, the, the, yeah. like what's the next thing, sure. right? That is just you know a fascinating yeah kind of way to what go. What was it. your like welcome to the NFL moment where you were like I've made it and you you really like felt it? Ah, uh, damn. Where I said I made it in what sense? Like, like you know, when, I don't know if you made if you had like a specific tackle that you think of or, or a sack or something that uh, you're like, I sacked this quarterback and and that, like I'm here. No, nah, it was just the point where I got to playing against some of the people I'd seen on, uh, you know, you, you see all the numbers, you'd be like, oh, this person is that, that, that. And mm-hmm. in your head, you're like, oh, they might really be that. Then I say playing people, I'm like, uh, okay. It's not really what they say. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, then I was like, all right, I guess I could do this. It's like, I belong here. Yeah, I'm I was with like, these yeah, guys. I could do this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What was your family's reaction to <laughs> yeah. all this the, stuff? The draft? Not, because they didn't know much about it. You sure. Know, my family you know, didn't know much about it, so they're like, oh, okay, like. I guess if that's the route you're trying to take, right, like go about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's that's what it was. Uh, that's what it was earlier then. But now I think they 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 understand it a little more. They understand what's what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Now, have they had a chance to come to a game? Because I was reading when you were drafted yeah. that they that from like 2011 until the time that you were drafted that they they've, didn't get to see. They've you. actually never seen me play football. They've never person. seen you play yeah, football. So probably, hopefully, this year I'll get my mom down here. Yeah. We got to get yeah, them to Atlanta. Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean we'll have them stop by the podcast. For yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll podcast they'll with tell them. Tell you from uh, they'll, they'll tell you the story from their own point of view. Exactly. <laughs> see, that's Honestly, what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. their point of view might go. be really interesting. Because because they're like, he told us that he was going to play football, and yeah. now he's making money doing it. What is this? No, yeah, great. see, like, we 
asked you about Ryan Nielsen yeah. dirt. We asked them about, about me. David yeah. dirt. That's exactly how it works. That's no, exactly that's how it nice. works. Oh, man. This uh, is so fun. I love fun. this. Yeah. So I guess just to, like, wrap up. Yeah. Because we do something called rapid fire. Okay. Um, so we're going to ask you five questions right. to, to wrap up and, you know, some of these questions we recycle. Some of them are okay. a little a little off the wall. All so right. are you ready? Let's go. All Let's right. Do it. Your favorite play of your career. Uh, favorite play of my career, I think it was. Uh, I, I don't even think it was my play, to be honest. It was the <laughs> one on uh, Cam Newton when uh, he kind of ran into my chest and <laughs> <laughs> was out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll run the clip. <laughs> That's a good one. That's it good. is yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, when he ran into my chest, then he, <laughs> nah, he basically just, <laughs> yeah. into my chest and just dropped. That still counts yeah. as a play. It does I, count it, as a yeah. play. Yeah, you uh, were involved. I was involved at to a point. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could have fallen. Well, yeah. You probably wouldn't have fallen. Over. Yeah. Uh, uh, is there a TV show, a, um, a, a movie that you love or that you're binging right now? Anything? You uh, I I just go with the flow. Like I yeah. I watch. I go on Netflix and watch, you know, what's on there. Just kind of, I, I'm not really watching it. What show? I'm not watching any show right now, to be honest. I just go on there and watch the movies or the comedy specials. Oh like, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I love the comedy specials. The comedy, yeah, the comedy are specials yeah. are pretty yeah. good. I'm a big fan of just like turning them on, yeah. and, like while I'm cleaning or something. Like, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like in the other room, yeah. like cackling. That's funny. Yeah. Um, all right. Who was your favorite player growing up? Regardless of favorite sport. Favorite player growing up, Terry Henry. Oh. That's a good yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. French striker. Yeah. yeah. Absolute yeah. menace. Yeah. I, I was hoping that you were going to say, like, a, a soccer player. Yeah, he's and a soccer. Yeah. He made Arsenal what he, they were that's, back then. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I said It only took him to, 20 years to get back to yeah. the same level. Welcome hey, back this they, year. I, it's, <laughs> finally, <laughs> it happened. It's finally happened. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you played in in the UK when you were with the Saints? Yeah, I played yeah. there twice actually. Uh, so uh, did you get a chance to see like an, an Arsenal game? No, or, so the it's, schedules are pretty yeah, packed. Yeah, it's, right? it's pretty packed. Uh, the last time, uh, the last time I was up there, I think we were trying to go see a game, but it was on Saturday and yeah, the night you, you before. Got like there's so stuff. much going on. Okay, this is going to be a random Canada question, right. so I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, Starbucks. I, I, I don't know if you're a we'll yeah, go Tim's. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no. There we go. You knew where I was Tim's going. Had, they got it all with Tim. <laughs> you yeah, go with the, that. The question for our listeners was it was going to be Tim Hortons yeah. or Starbucks. They they you it, knew they got immediately it all right away. <laughs> <laughs> immediately what this was going to be. Tim's is like a meeting spot. Like you're actually going, <laughs> you yeah. go on your first date at Tim's. Like, oh, no way. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, what like, a first date location. All of your friends north of the border would, would he said Starbucks? No. Nah, uh oh, Tim's, unfollow. Tim's. No, you gotta stick with Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you are new with Tim's. Oh man, I love it. Now, yeah. last question. Um, what is your favorite um, traditional Nigerian food? So it's uh jollof rice and okay. uh, plantain mm -hmm. with some chicken or oxtail or something of that sort yeah okay yeah we got to get the people in the cafeteria to whip Too. up something they had some plantains today they did have they did. plantains it, it, it was today. a good yeah. 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 I, saw I saw that too today. they knew you were coming yeah they had <laughs> like the we're plantains. gonna have the plantains i was like that's, yeah i had to i had to take a couple people. Yeah. that's fantastic and so is this podcast yeah uh guys thank you so much for joining the falcons in focus podcast presented by Ticketmaster. Please rate, review, subscribe to the Falcons Podcast Network. I'm Scott. That's Tori. This is David. Let's go. Let's Woo! go. Yeah. Rise up. <laughs> See ya.